India's tit for tat for Chinese core interests could rile Beijing, analysts. China's clear disregard for India's concerns and aspirations despite appeals at the highest level could result in New Delhi giving less weight to Chinese core interests, say analysts. Examples of India gradually growing less sensitive to Chinese concerns in recent months include allowing the U.S. ambassador in India Richard Verma and the Tibetan spiritual leader the Dalai Lama to visit Arunachal Pradesh that China claims as its territory. And on Monday, India seemed to back Indonesia's stance on its South China Sea spat with China, in a move that could raise hackles in Beijing. India's support to the Indonesian position came on a day when Beijing declared that its position on backing India's membership for the elite nuclear suppliers group, NSG, as well as getting the chief of the Pakistan-based Jaishi Mohammed, Jim, designated as a terrorist by the United Nations, UN, remains unchanged. That is, its opposition on both issues continue despite many attempts by India to persuade Beijing to change its mind including appeals at the highest level i.e. Prime Minister Narendra Modi and President Pranab Mukherjee to China's top leadership i.e. President Xi Jinping. As for India's application for NSG and listing issue pursuant to Resolution of 1267, to list Masood Azhar as a terrorist, China's position remains unchanged, China's Foreign Ministry spokesman Geng Shuang said in Beijing on Monday, the Press Trust of India reported. Ironically, the comment was made in response to a question on a remark made by Indian Foreign Secretary S.J. Ishankar in New Delhi on Friday when he said that New Delhi and Beijing should respect each other's strong sense of independence and legitimate aspirations while seeking accommodation and building trust. China is creating a situation where India will be forced to retaliate by taking positions on issues that are against the core interests of China, said former Foreign Secretary Ken Whale Sibyl. The joint statement tasked the defense ministers of the two countries, India and Indonesia, to explore collaboration between defense industries for joint production of equipment with technology transfer, technical assistance, and capacity building cooperation. According to Baladas Ghoshal, a former professor of Southeast Asia and Southwest Pacific Studies at Jawaharlal Nehru University, India should help Indonesia in building up its navy which is in need of support. Bolstering defense cooperation with Jakarta could be another signal to Beijing, he said. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. Please comment your opinion for this news. Press subscribe button for auto update to you regarding my channel World Action and Reaction News, Warn.